A lunar lander has successfully deployed technology that can drill three meters into the moon's surface, uncovering long-awaited lunar mysteries. This mission represents the beginning of humanity's permanent expansion beyond Earth. Welcome to the new space race, where private companies and NASA collaborate on seven critical technologies to make living on the moon possible. These innovations are transforming what once seemed impossible into achievable reality. By the end of this video, you'll understand why these recent scientific and commercial breakthroughs aren't just impressive achievements. They're the foundation stones of what could become humanity's first lunar civilization. Blue Ghost, the first fully successful commercial moon landing. Imagine standing in mission control as decades of dreams materialize before your eyes. A privately built lunar lander touching down on the moon's surface marking an engineering triumph and the dawn of a new era in space exploration. This historic moment came to life on March 2nd, when Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lander completed what previous commercial attempts could not, a flawless touchdown on lunar soil. After half a century of minimal American presence on the lunar surface, Blue Ghost has shattered the status quo. While government agencies once dominated lunar missions, this successful landing represents the definitive arrival of private enterprise in lunar exploration. Previous commercial attempts had ended with spacecraft tipping over or communications failing during those crucial final moments. What made Blue Ghost's journey remarkable was its methodical precision. Like a master performer executing a flawless celestial ballet, the mission unfolded with extraordinary discipline, transitioning through weeks of Earth orbit checks, lunar transit, and careful positioning in the challenging Mare Crisium Basin on the moon's northeastern quadrant. The stakes were immense. Blue Ghost carried 10 NASA-provided scientific payloads, instruments representing years of development and millions in investment. Unlike previous attempts, Blue Ghost settled perfectly upright and stable, with all systems operational. This success transforms our relationship with our celestial neighbor. The moon transforms from a distant destination for occasional visits into an accessible frontier. Blue Ghost has proven that commercial entities can reliably deliver critical technology to the lunar surface, establishing the foundation for regular missions that will build toward permanent operations. How Blue Ghost Landed Flawlessly The leap from delivering technology to establishing permanent lunar operations depends on one critical capability that Blue Ghost perfected landing without human intervention. As the lander descended toward the crater-pocked surface, an AI system took complete control, analyzing the terrain below and making split-second adjustments that previous failed missions tragically lacked. Imagine the tension in mission control, a spacecraft navigating the final phase of lunar landing with no GPS, no atmospheric braking, and communication delays that make Earth-based control impossible. This technological marvel made Blue Ghost's flawless touchdown possible. Like a grandmaster chess player calculating moves several steps ahead, the onboard AI navigation system simultaneously became the spacecraft's eyes, brain, and pilot. Mission control could only watch and trust during the heart-stopping powered descent phase. Every adjustment, every thruster firing, and every critical decision happened autonomously. The computer vision system actively scanned for hazards that would spell disaster. Boulders, steep slopes, and treacherous craters, while calculating the optimal landing trajectory in real time. The AI landed with remarkable precision, representing a fundamental breakthrough for lunar habitation. Future bases require the reliability and consistency of autonomous systems for regular supply deliveries, eliminating reliance on human pilots. This technology solves one of lunar exploration's most dangerous challenges. Previous landing attempts faced catastrophic consequences from slight miscalculations, but Blue Ghost's systems eliminated this risk. The achievement marks the crucial difference between occasional visits and permanent presence, creating the foundation for reliable, repeated cargo deliveries that will sustain humanity's first foothold beyond Earth. Scientific breakthroughs the game-changing experiments. Sticking the landing was just the beginning. Now comes the real challenge that stumped NASA engineers for decades. What good is arriving safely if the moon itself destroys your equipment? The breakthrough lies in Blue Ghost's scientific payload, where 10 experiments tackle the moon's most lethal environmental hazards head-on. 
Among these innovative tools, the electrodynamic dust shield is crucial for long-term lunar operations. This ingenious device functions like an invisible force field, creating electrical currents that actively repel the microscopic lunar dust particles that plagued Apollo missions. Solar panels, optical instruments, and life support systems can now survive what would otherwise be a relentless assault by electrically charged razor-sharp dust particles. Lunar dust becomes particularly treacherous in an airless, low-gravity environment. Without an atmosphere to slow down, this fine powder becomes airborne with minimal disturbance, creating hazardous conditions during routine operations, a silent threat that previous missions couldn't address. Each experiment aboard Blue Ghost directly contributes to building sustainable lunar habitats. The Moon Vacuum Lunar Planet VAC demonstrates how future lunar inhabitants might harvest regolith samples beneath the lander for construction and manufacturing, enabling self-sustaining bases without constant supply missions from Earth. The Lunar Instrument for Subsurface Thermal Exploration, LISTAR, penetrates up to three meters below the surface to analyze heat flow patterns. This provides invaluable data for designing habitats that can withstand the moon's extreme temperature fluctuations while maintaining livable conditions for human occupants. Athena, racing to the lunar south pole. Imagine landing blindfolded on a razor's edge between scorching heat and temperatures cold enough to freeze solid air, with lunar colonization's future hanging in the balance. While Blue Ghost examines the moon's relatively hospitable regions, Intuitive Machine's Athena mission targets what astronomers call the most valuable real estate in our solar system, the Lunar South Pole. This mission marks Intuitive Machine's return after their Nova Sea spacecraft ended its journey tipped sideways. They've engineered dramatic improvements, particularly in landing precision, an absolute necessity for navigating the treacherous obstacle course of the Lunar South Pole. Unlike the northeastern quadrant that Blue Ghost now calls home, the South Pole presents an almost alien landscape in its extremes. Deep craters exist in perpetual shadow here, never having felt sunlight for billions of years. Within these dark abysses lies the ultimate prize, ancient ice deposits that could transform the moon from a scientific outpost into humanity's first off-world colony. The challenges of landing here make Blue Ghost's touchdown seem routine by comparison. Landing in darkness demands extraordinary guidance. Athena's systems boast 20-fold improvement over previous attempts, allowing it to thread the needle between regions where temperatures swing hundreds of degrees within mere meters of each other. This precision matters because accessing these shadowed craters unlocks the key to a sustainable lunar presence. The water ice trapped within represents everything future colonists need. Water to drink, oxygen to breathe, and hydrogen for rocket fuel. Mastering this hostile terrain transforms the moon from a destination for fleeting visits into humanity's permanent cosmic foothold. Revolutionary Tech, Athena's Breakthrough Capabilities. To transform those frozen water deposits into a viable foundation for lunar settlement, NASA needs more than just landing capabilities. It needs tools that can survive where humans currently cannot. What if I told you that a device small enough to fit in your palm might be the key to unlocking the moon's most valuable resource? Within Athena's sophisticated payload, base sits a marvel of engineering that revolutionizes lunar exploration. The Micronova Hopper. Think of it as the lunar equivalent of a Swiss army knife, compact yet incredibly versatile. This pocket-sized rocket-powered vehicle leaps across the lunar surface like a mechanical grasshopper venturing deep into regions where temperatures reach an astonishing negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit, places conventional rovers simply can't access. The exploration toolkit includes the remarkable Trident drill developed by Honeybee Robotics. Operating much like an enhanced version of tools we use on Earth, this drill burrows up to one meter beneath the surface. As it pulls soil cuttings upward, the accompanying M-Solo spectrometer analyzes their chemical composition in real time hunting specifically for the water molecules and minerals that would sustain future lunar inhabitants. Perhaps most surprising is how familiar some of this technology will feel. Nokia is establishing the moon's first 4 GLTE communication network as part of the Athena mission. This breakthrough marks the first non-radio-based communication system on the lunar surface. 
enabling high-definition video streaming between vehicles exploring different areas simultaneously. Imagine future astronauts sharing real-time discoveries with the same network technology powering your daily scrolling. SpaceX Starship, the Lunar Gateway. As Nokia prepares to connect the moon with modern communication technology, an even more ambitious revolution waits on a Texas launch pad. Standing taller than the Statue of Liberty, Starship isn't just another rocket. It's the vessel that could transform humanity from planetary visitors into permanent lunar inhabitants. While robotic explorers like Blue Ghost and Athena are perfecting critical technologies on the lunar surface, their achievements remain largely symbolic without a reliable, high-capacity transportation system. Starship enters the equation as the missing piece, designed to deliver hundreds of tons of equipment and dozens of people to the moon regularly. The path to this capability hasn't been without challenges. A recent Starship launch attempt was aborted with just 40 seconds remaining on the countdown clock. Elon Musk addressed the situation transparently. There were too many question marks about this flight, and then we were 20 bar lower on ground spin start pressure. Best to destock, inspect both stages, and try again in a day or two. Despite these setbacks, NASA remains committed to Starship as their chosen vehicle for landing the first Artemis astronauts on the lunar surface. This partnership is crucial because of Starship's unmatched cargo capacity, which dwarfs previous lunar landers and promises to make settlement economically feasible for the first time. The timeline for Starship's development continues to evolve, with in-flight refueling tests postponed until next year. However, Musk expressed confidence that full reusability would be achieved this year, potentially slashing mission costs dramatically and establishing the foundation for humanity's permanent lunar presence. The Lunar Civilization. From science fiction to reality. While Starship tackles the transportation puzzle, a much grander vision is taking shape beyond the engineering milestones, one where these seemingly separate missions are the building blocks of humanity's first off-world civilization. What was once confined to science fiction is now appearing on NASA's actual timeline, with permanent lunar settlements potentially just years away. The Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative represents a fundamental shift in how we approach space exploration. This isn't just about scientific discovery, it's about systematically establishing the commercial infrastructure needed for a sustainable human presence. NASA's commitment of $2.6 billion through 2028 for these commercial lunar deliveries demonstrates unprecedented seriousness about establishing a permanent foothold beyond Earth. Imagine future lunar colonists walking through habitats built with technologies tested on today's missions. Each successful landing contributes to a comprehensive lunar economy where private companies deliver experiments and the literal building blocks of human habitation. The recent Blue Ghost success is part of a coordinated effort, supporting over 50 instruments across various lunar locations, mainly focusing on the resource-rich South Pole region. The science and technology being tested now directly address the fundamental challenges that have kept lunar settlements in the realm of science fiction. These missions are solving specific survival problems, from dust mitigation to resource utilization to communication networks, transforming theoretical concepts into tested solutions for permanent human presence. The accelerating timeline is most striking. The expectation that the first permanent habitats could be operational within this decade signals a dramatic shift from exploration to settlement. We're witnessing the economic framework developing in real time with the potential for resource extraction and tourism, and using the moon as a launch point for Mars missions. As Intuitive Machines and Firefly Aerospace write their names in the lunar soil, they're building our future beyond Earth. Today's groundwork represents the critical foundation for tomorrow's lunar civilization. NASA's Nikki Fox powerfully articulates this vision. The science and technology we send to the moon now helps prepare the way for future NASA exploration and long-term human presence to inspire the world for generations to come. We're witnessing the birth of humanity's next chapter. Each successful mission transforms the moon from a distant celestial body into our first outpost among the stars. These are the cornerstones of a multi-planetary future unfolding before our eyes. As you watch these historic moments, consider your place in this cosmic journey. How might you participate in humanity's most incredible adventure? 
If you're as fascinated by space as we are, you won't want to miss these other videos. We dive even deeper into the universe's secrets and explore recent discoveries that could revolutionize your understanding of the cosmos. Thank you for joining us on this cosmic adventure. Stay curious and keep looking up.